Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at our freshly released feature which allows you to combine multiple triggers together in different ways uh, in order to make your program more advanced and interesting. So here I have a pretty simple build which will let us to illustrate this feature um, in a very easy way. Um, so here we have the ultrasonic sensor, the LED light and the button. Um, and in order to combine those two, um, all I need to do is um, I just drag them onto the transition like this. Um, and I can tap each of them and set them up individually. So for this one, let's say I want it to be less than uh, 15 centimeters. And for the button, I want it to be pressed and on the way back, I want it to be released. So the program we have here uh, has the delay action over here, which will just allow it to, uh, for the robot to wait until I, until the triggers will be detected. And the action over here is the uh, blink action, which is set to infinite times and the speed is set up to the maximum, which is 10. So um, when I start a project, I press play so the program gets transferred to the robot so now um, when I press the button the transition doesn't happen uh, two of the sensors have to appear at the same time for the transition to happen like this now when I release it goes back so if I if one of them gets detected the transition doesn't happen two of them have to be detected at the same time for the transition to happen this is one way so another way would be, uh, I can simply put them in a parallel way like this. So this way uh, doesn't really matter which one of them will be triggered. The transition still will happen. And another trigger is the button. And when I hold it, it goes blinking. And when I release, it goes back. This is how it works.